Okay, this question is quite a tricky question. We've asked to solve this inequality. Well, if we were asked to solve this, you could probably have a go at it. 7x is equal to 2x plus 20. If you were asked to solve that, that was probably something you could do. So, well actually, this is, uh, well let's solve this, and then we'll, that's actually going to help us to solve this. So if we solve this equation, I'm going to take away 2x from both sides, which leaves me with 5x is equal to 20. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 5, which leaves me with x equals 4. Now that's actually really going to help me to solve this, because all I'm going to do is I'm going to replace every time that I had an equals. At the end, I'm just going to turn my equals back into this symbol that was in the question. So actually my answer is x is greater than 4. So the tip is, if you get a question that looks like this, solve it as if it was an equation with an equals. And at the very last minute, all you need to do is switch your inequality sign. This is this funny little symbol here, this arrow little symbol, back in. So you get x, x, 4, 4, and instead of equals, you've got greater than, and that's your answer. It's a bit tricky, so check your guide, or maybe go back over that, or maybe you want to look that up in your revision guide. In this one, we've got the other way that inequalities could be asked. We can ask the diagram that represents this. Well, this means all the integers, all the numbers that fall between these two things. So that would be 1, 2, and 3. But you see this extra little line here under this, means that we're allowed to have one, but because there's no extra little line here, we're not allowed to have three. So we really want, if we were asked for integers, the integer solutions of this inequality would be one and two. They're the two numbers that work for this. But we need to do this on the diagram. So all these diagrams can go in one and three. The only difference is some of them have these little filled in blobs and some of them have got empty blobs. We want the one that's got filled in blob on one, and an empty blob on 3. A filled in blob means it's allowed to be in that number here or here or here or here and an empty blob means that we're not allowed to have that number. We want 1, we don't want 3. So this is the diagram that we want. Yeah, I think you need to look up inequalities on your revision guide because it's a little bit weird but it's not that hard once you've cracked it. Once you've got used to these little symbols um, actually it's quite easy but it looks a bit difficult and it looks quite tricky before you see it.